His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi, His Highness. Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom to attend the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2024. The Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi conveyed to His Majesty the greetings and appreciation of the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and the Vice President, Prime Minister, and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and their sincere wishes for the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people for continued progress and prosperity. His Majesty welcomed His Highness the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and his visit to the Kingdom and informed him to convey his sincere greetings and wishes to the UAE President and to the Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai and to the brotherly people of the UAE for further development and prosperity. His Majesty affirmed his pride in the deep-rooted historic relations between the two countries, their leaderships and brotherly people, which are based on strong foundations of brotherhood visions, understanding, and common coordination. His Majesty stressed that the relations are becoming stronger and more established, thanks to the common keenness to develop them at all levels. His Majesty praised the high status enjoyed by the UAE under the leadership of the UAE President at the regional and international levels, and the pioneering achievements and successes it continues to make at various levels in addition to its appreciated global initiatives and extending a hand of assistance to serve humanity and consolidate the values of coexistence and tolerance, as well as cooperation among people. His Majesty praised the efforts of the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi in promoting the blessed process of development and civilizational renaissance that the UAE is witnessing in all fields. The Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi expressed his happiness at visiting the Kingdom and meeting His Majesty and expressed his deep thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for the generous hospitality and warm reception he received and his pride in his efforts and the constant attention and keenness he gives to consolidating the bonds of distinguished relations and close fraternal ties between the two countries and their brotherly people. He praised the success of the kingdom in organizing Formula One races, which contributed to strengthening the kingdom's leadership position on the international sports map. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received the president of Tatarstan, Rustum Menikhanov, visiting the kingdom to attend the competition of the 20th edition of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2024. His Majesty welcomed the country's honorable guest, expressing his thanks for visiting the kingdom and his attendance at this global race. His Majesty reviewed aspects of strong bilateral relations and opportunities for cooperation in various vital aspects, including economic and investment, and the prospect for strengthening and developing them in a way that serves common goals and aspirations. His Majesty affirmed the Kingdom of Bahrain's keenness to extend bridges of cooperation and strengthen ties of friendship with Tataristan in a manner that achieves the aspirations of the leadership of the two countries and serves the interests of their friendly people. The meeting also touched upon a number of issues of common interest in addition to exchanging conversations about Formula One races and the important role that such international sports gathering play in promoting communication, acquaintance and coexistence among people, deepening the spirit of friendship among them and achieving rapprochement between different cultures. The Tataristan president expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the generous hospitality and welcome he received as well as the keenness and interest he found in developing good bilateral relations. He praised what Bahrain has achieved under the leadership of His Majesty the King in terms of Renaissance progress and development in all the fields, wishing the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain continued prosperity and development. And His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, in the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the former King of Spain, His Majesty King Juan Carlos, on the occasion of his visit to the country to attend the Gulf Air Formula One Bahrain 
Grand Prix 2024 in its 20th edition and a number of the country's guests to attend the race. His Majesty welcomed the country's guests and reviewed with them the close historical relations of cooperation and friendship that bind the Kingdom of Bahrain and their friendly countries. His Majesty praised the continuous progress and growth these relations are witnessing thanks to the mutual keenness to strengthen them in all the fields. His Majesty affirmed the Kingdom's aspirations to continue working to consolidate its distinguished relations with friendly countries for the interest of everyone. In turn, the country's guests expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Majesty for the warm welcome and hospitality accorded to them, praising His Majesty's efforts, which contributed to developing and consolidating the advanced relations between friendly countries. The Kingdom of Bahrain has assumed a high position on the global sports map, especially by hosting the Formula One event for 20 years. With the follow-up and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, more details in this report. National achievements continue. In light of the comprehensive development process of the Kingdom of Bahrain, among the most prominent of these achievements is hosting the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix which is hosted by the Bahrain International Circuit, the home of motorsports in the Middle East. The Kingdom of Bahrain was able, through this sport, to attract the attention of the whole world, thanks to the ambitious vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, which places Bahrain on the global sports map. The ambitious and bright vision of His Royal Highness and his vital role in introducing a sport of a global nature to the Kingdom is what made the world await and intensely follow this distinguished sporting event. The efforts of His Royal Highness to develop the sports system achieved impressive results and his unlimited support enhanced the kingdom's status globally. Bahrain's hosting of one of the rounds of the Formula One World Championship placed it among an elite group of countries to form an international system in stimulating economic and tourism growth in the kingdom and in the Arabian Gulf region. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Royal Bahrain Equestrian and Endurance Racing Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the championship of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad for show jumping was held, organized by the Royal Bahrain Equestrian and Endurance Federation. His Highness's sons crowned the first place winners in the presence of the Vice President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and the President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated the winners and praised the role of the fans and the role of the sponsors of the, of the tournament. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for patronizing the event and hailed the attendance of His Highness's sons. He affirmed that the patronage by His Highness affirms his keenness to support all championships held by the Royal Bahrain Equestrian and Endurance Federation. The Russian Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the 26th race of the season over the Cups of Asri, Bahrain Airport Services and Arrauda Stud at its race course in Arrafa Saqir. Winners of the Cups were crowned and the chairman of Asri, Ayman Al Muayyad, presented the second round trophy to the winning trainer Ali Majid, while Executive Vice President of Asri, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, presented the third round trophy to Abdullah Al Shar and sixth round trophy to His Highness Sheikh Nuh bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. Meanwhile, the chairman of Bahrain Airport Services Company, Nabil Khalid Kano, presented the seventh round trophy to His Highness Sheikh Nuh bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa. And the head of the Arabian Stables, Louis Wharton, presented the first round trophy of Al Rauda Stud Cup to winning trainer Yusuf Tahir.
The Minister of Tourism, Fatma Astayrafi, and in the presence of the Chief Executive Officer of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Sarab Hujji, met with the representatives of tourism and travel company agents around the world visiting the kingdom on the occasion of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2024. The Minister reviewed the various facilities that the kingdom provides to tourism and travel agents around the world in addition to the tourism products that the kingdom possesses the tourist destinations and the major events and programs. The minister stressed the keenness of the ministry and the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority to conclude agreements and partnerships with more tourism and travel offices to achieve the goals of the Kingdom's tourism strategy 2022 to 2026. The minister said that the Formula One represents a golden opportunity to promote Bahrain tourism globally and provide the opportunity for tourists to explore more of the Kingdom's diverse tourist attractions. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rowan Tawfiqi, visited the Jazeera Youth Center in Egypt on the sideline of her participation in the meeting of the 47th session of the Council of Ministers of Youth and Sports. The Minister listened to a briefing about the center and the facilities it includes that attract young people in addition to the programs and activities offered to young people. She also listened to the positive results of the program and their role in empowering the youth and increasing their experiences. The minister praised the advanced youth and sports facilities in the center, which contributed to attracting Egyptian youth and developing their skills in a pioneering manner in many fields. The Dean of the Arab Diplomatic Corps and Ambassador of Bahrain to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, attended the Arab Women Award Ceremony in its 10th session, which was held in London to celebrate the achievements of Arab women in various sectors. The Ambassador pointed to the success and progress of Arab women at all levels and praised the establishment of this conference, bringing together female speakers from various Arab countries and Britain to highlight their achievements, which have become a source of pride. The annual Arab Women Awards Ceremony aims to honor distinguished Arab women who have left a positive impact on the regional and international levels in the fields of education, culture, entrepreneurship, media, science, community, service, literature, and others. The Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf continues to develop documentation services in partnership with the private sector. Given the importance of the sector, which it represents as a fundamental pillar in preserving the rights and supporting the investment environment. More details in this report. To expand the scope of providing documentation services and facilitate various types of services for beneficiaries that allow citizens, residents, companies and institutions to conduct all transactions through jurists and lawyers, the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf has taken tremendous steps in documentation. During the past year, about 96,000 transactions were documented, of which 89% were carried out by the private notaries as the service is carried out in partnership with the private sector. A quick service provided by the ministry to serve as a cornerstone through private notaries to provide the ability to authenticate all documents outside official working hours, in addition to benefiting from the advantages of going to the service requester. These indicators give a positive impression, which helps companies expand their business and start new ones to contribute significantly to facilitating services for beneficiaries, reducing time and effort for them, in addition to enhancing achievements. Thanks to the directors of His Majesty the King, the industrial sector continues to witness great development in various fields, especially the aluminum company Alba. More details in this report. The Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, has worked to significantly advance its industrial status, starting with laying a solid foundation of laws and legislation that paved the way for the growth and advancement of Bahraini industries, the most prominent of which is the Bahrain aluminum industry Alba. Alba, with its unique ability to excel in this field, learned to develop and excel in all areas of work, starting with training and qualifying cadres, all the way to building the sixth smelting line. It achieved a qualitative leap in the company's production operations, and it became alongside a number of Bahraini companies that received the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Large and distinguished international and regional awards have attested to Alba's distinction in providing services and products of very high quality that meet the needs of the global market. 
All eyes are on the Kingdom of Bahrain for the 2024 Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix. Red Bull's Max Verstappen, the defending champion of the FIA Formula One World Championship, started first after setting the best time in the qualifying session yesterday. The Formula One event consists of a number of events and entertainment activities in light of the massive turnout of F1 fans from inside and outside the kingdom. Spectators and visitors praise the distinctive organization and various events accompanying the race atmosphere. They stress that the kingdom has proven its excellence over the past 20 years by organizing the race at the highest level of professionalism. Meanwhile, Max Verstappen stormed to a historic pole position yesterday. He captured the landing position for Red Bull after topping an exciting qualifying held in chilly conditions. He took pole for F1 season opening event with a fastest lap time of 1 minute 29.179 seconds. The Dutchman beat Ferrari's Charles Lederick by just over two tenths of a second, while Mercedes' George Russell qualified third. Carlos Sainz will start from fourth in Ferrari's second contender, while Red Bull's Sergio Perez will be fifth on the grid. Zayn Maloney also completed a double victory in the first round of the Formula 2 season in Bahrain by controlling the feature race from start to finish. Maloney gradually fought his way to the front and then built a comfortable gap towards the checkered flag, finishing with a winning time of 42 minutes, 13.726 seconds, ahead of Jack Crawford and Josep Maria Marti. Harry King from Britain won the first place of round five in the 2023-2024 Porsche Carrera Cup Middle East, which was held in support of the F1 races. Taking the victory against the Pro-Am runners was Khaled Al-Ahmadi of Saudi Arabia, while Team Bahrain's very own Sheikh Jabir bin Ali Al-Khalifa finished first among the AM participants. Driver Luke Browning led the High Tech Pulse A team to victory in the main race of the first round of the FIA Formula 3 World Championship. He started from the front row alongside Prima Racing's Dino Bajanovic, taking advantage of a slow start from the pole sitter. The British driver instead finished the race in 41 minutes, 8.012 seconds to claim his first victory. Dutch driver Robert de Haan won the main race of the fifth round of the Porsche Carrera Middle East. Han finished the race in 22 minutes, 41.855 seconds. In the Pro-Am category, Germany's Sorin Spring took first place, narrowly edging out the Saudi duo of Khaled Al-Ahmadi and Saud Al-Saud. Meanwhile, Saif Al-Amri of the UAE won the AM class, while Sebastian Georgia of Italy was second and Bahrain's Sheikh Jabir bin Ali Al Khalifa came in third place. The Ministry of Interior through its various departments works to harness all the capabilities to carry out the necessary security arrangements and develop effective plans and programs within the framework of an active community partnership to ensure the success and distinction of the Bahrain Grand Prix Formula One Championship. The audience also experienced an atmosphere of fun and entertainment during the Formula One races. This continuous success is a result of the readiness and high-level professionalism of the ministry, as well as the expertise that had a significant impact on showcasing the global race in a prestigious manner, befitting Bahrain's international standing. When I came, there wasn't any traffic. I think it was quite easy. I think the security is really well organized. I think it's all really well done. It's my first time, yes, and I really, really like it here. It's a beautiful country, so, yeah. Everything is perfect, so thank you for your country to arranging this wonderful race. Uh, until it's until now, it's a really, really good event. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, a very good experience to be here. The sports sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain receives great attention, which has contributed to the development of the sector as the Motorsports Marshals Club is regarded a result of this interest. 
The club has achieved many successes and participated in organizing the World Championships for Formula One racing in the kingdom and abroad, demonstrating the ability and potential of the kingdom and its people in organizing the largest and most massive international race. The club has become the focus of countries around the world and gained the confidence of the International Automobile Federation due to the extensive experience that came after organizing many international races.